Hey everybody, welcome to the Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. You sound like a newscaster. Are you a news announcer, Todd? No, I have a cold. Tell me his voice doesn't sound dynamite, though. This is it. That, uh, That's I'm like sick. a two-pack-a-day habit kind of <laughs> like voice, you know? It's nice. In a world. Anyway, so... Um, Outdoor grilling. You've been doing some vegetarian options. Yeah, we're that doing that. Cool. First, first of all, I want to talk about graduation. Graduation, people with gowns everywhere. People with hats. They've got... What do you call the hats again? Motorboat. What? Motorboat. Motorboatin? Motor... Mortar... Motorboard. I think. I think it's the right pronunciation. That sounds like. You want me to look it up right now? No, okay, no, don't. we're good. We're good. Uh, graduate, happy graduation, uh, and uh, get your kids out of your house. Boom, chick a boom. Don't take the toaster or the microwave, guys. That's just bad form. <laughs> Watch your kids. You're going to. But Watch them. Watch your. Oh, Tamara used to come home from BYU and clean us out. She'd wait till mom went grocery shopping and, and then she'd what? Home. Huh? Of what? Of like all the good cereals and like all this food. And she'd wait for mom to go grocery shopping. And she'd come home to visit and like pfft, everything was gone. Take like, their keys away. Change the locks. That's what I have to say. Anyway, we're talking about grilled peppers. Grilled peppers, what do you do with them? How do you keep them? All that stuff. I learned. I watch. I see. I try. Watch. Preserving smoked peppers. First of all, why smoked peppers? Have you ever done it? If you haven't, you gotta do it. Smoked peppers are unbelievable, but... Okay, here's the deal. Here's my deal. Is that you go to a barbecue, right? Hot dogs and hamburgers or a steak or something like that. And if it's charcoal fire, everyone picks their food up and leaves. And the charcoal remains burning for another two hours. And you're not use it. God forbid it's hot dogs. There's 30 seconds of your life. Uh, it takes me like, you know, 40 minutes, 45 minutes to get the coals up to the right, to, you know, going. And you can cook and stuff. And there's a lot of work for a hot dog. So what I did is I went down and I got... Um, uh, so, some peppers because I planted a lot in my garden this year just for this reason I'm going to show you how to preserve them for up to a year in your refrigerator but uh, I digress um, poblamo uh, poblamo po you know what I'm talking about um, all of these peppers by the way there's sweet peppers this is Anaheim these are all under the heat of like um, jalapeno they're much cooler than a jalapeno so Everyone can enjoy this and it's mostly about flavor and once you roast them They're a lot sweeter. So all we need is the peppers Need some paper bags Need a grill going which I already have so let's take them out to the grill and uh, roast these puppies they Don't mean puppies. No humane society people. No listen PETA. No I, I, peppers Peppers all right, I've switched over to the barbecue cam. Let's go take a look, shall we? Um, first of all, um, when we say uh, roasted, we mean charred. We mean, like, beyond recognition. Let's take a look at what I'm talking about right here. See how we're doing. That's good. Because you're going to peel this off. You're basically roasting the skins right off of them. Like that. And then when we take the skins off, that's what we have left, and the pepper will be cooked. I've never done the little ones before. There we go. If you can hear it. But it smells incredible. And then there's a trick that a friend of mine taught me. It has to do with a paper bag, and it's not about putting it over my head. All right, so that's coming up. All right, it's time for the trick. So, perfect. So that's what we have. And we're gonna put them in the bag, like this. I'm gonna take them up. And what the bag does, helps you peel them really quickly. All right, back upstairs. So we're off the grill. We got them in the bag. Why the bag? This is the, something someone told me once, and it made such a difference. Because if you've ever roasted stuff like this, you know, I'm just going to duck them out. Um, peeling them is horrific. But if you take them off the grill and you put them into a paper bag, you will see that the skins come off 
really easily, like this. Now, one of the things you want to do is, you get rid of that, obviously, but you also have a bowl of water around so you can rinse your fingers off to get the skin off them because you, the last thing you want to do is dunk these in water. You don't want to dunk these in water because if you do, it takes all the oils out and half the flavor that you went for in the first place. Now, I'm not going to get them perfect, but I am going to get the major part of this off. Anaheim's I've never done before. They have like a thicker outside to them. But basically, this is what you're going to do. You're going to do this to all of them. I don't want to bore you with this, but I'll show you the next step really quick. It's actually fun to do, and it smells so incredible. I mean, just imagine this on a sandwich, or my mouth is now watering. Small ones, the same thing. You'll just pull it off like that, and you're good to go. Okay, now, next step. Uh, I use the big one here so I can show you. Move this stuff out of the way. And all basically you're going to do is you're going to plank them. <laughs> I made that term up just now. Uh, you're going to open them up. And you're going to cut them into flat pieces. Now, the seeds, take them out. Trust me. Now these aren't hot. Remember, these aren't these aren't the hot ones. These are these are basically these are underneath the jalapeno level, which I like jalapeno. But if you're going to make a salad and there's other people involved that don't like hot hot food, this is just going to be flavor, and it's gonna it's it's just delicious. All right, so this one I'm having a hard time with. Doesn't matter. I'm going to show you what we do. Just get all the black parts off. Or most of them. Don't even worry about it. All right. So now I'm going to open this one up. I'm going to cut the top off and open it up. See? Okay. No seeds. So we're good there. Scrape that over. Bring a bowl in. Bring a bowl in like this. This is cider vinegar. And for those people who clean around their house with cider vinegar, the reason you are so smart is it's antibacterial. We did not know that till like last year that it has the same bacterial fighting qualities as bleach. So that's why a lot of people clean with it. So what we're doing in this case is we are sterilizing to a certain point all the different pieces of pepper. Now, final stage. Finally. What we're going to do is they're going to take them out of the vinegar, vinegar and we're going to put them into your container. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't even need to be super airtight. It just needs to be a container. Then you're going to put them in. And I'll show you in a bit, but we're going to stack them all the way up and then you're going to cover them with olive oil. They say, when I say they, I mean they say that this, this will last up to a year in your refrigerator. Number one, what? Number two, have you tasted these? They won't last that long. They are that good. Oh, in a solid, are you kidding me? All right, so I'll be back to show you the pretty part. Okay. All right, I feel like a homesteader. That's what I feel like. I feel like a homesteader. All right, so uh, run through the process really quick. Okay, so you get the peppers, put them on the grill. They sweat, and then they cook, and then the skins turn black. Then you take the skins off those, and then you put them in a, in a vinegar bath, and then you pinch the salt, and you toss them with pinches of salt, too. And then uh, you put a little bit of vinegar in the bottom of the bowl, and then you start adding all your peppers. You can layer them. In my case, I like to just throw them in. It's a technique I'm known for. It's called sloppy. And so uh, basically then uh, I will now pour over the top. So I've left, I've left enough room for the topper, which is actually olive oil. And the reason you cover it with olive oil is it acts like a top to it and it seals it. Because when I put it in the fridge, guess what's going to happen? It's going to congeal. And that way... I'm a homesteader. I should have overalls. 
with one strap down, like on no, hee haw. No, you shouldn't. I, I know I should. No, no, no. No, you should not. No. Look out for the revenueers. I think they're coming up the driveway. Um, so anyway, there you go, roasted peppers, and that's how you're, you're, you uh, maintain them. And if you want to use them, just to make it a little more tricky. You take them out, you let them get to room temperature. That way, when you take a pepper out, the oil comes off of it and it keeps the others covered. It's stuff like, it's the reason, this is the reason that the pioneers didn't die all at once. Just slowly, just slowly <laughs> dying off. But when people are used to preserve foods, I mean, this is really fun, even though it's in a refrigerator. All right, so you guys have a great time. And um, uh, make sure you get the air bubbles out. And uh, once again, hang on, where's my list? Oh, here it is. I will not be held liable for food poisoning for you or anyone you love or dislike um, because of this show. Have a good one. The Todd and Aaron Daily Stream is brought to you by PC Laptops with desktops and laptops starting as low as $7.99 with a lifetime parts and service warranty. They fix phones too. Go to PCLaptops.com. You're lying about this. This didn't happen. It did happen. No. Antelope Island. I was thinking it'd be like maybe Yellowstone or like out on the plains of the Midwest, but this seriously happened here in Utah. Well, Antelope so, Island. so first of all, unspoiled gem of Utah is Antelope Island. It's got antelopes. And deer. And, and bison. And it's got all this stuff. It doesn't have sea turtles. What it doesn't have, no. What it doesn't have, <laughs> you're an idiot. I know. <laughs> what, I'm married. What it... What it doesn't have is um, trees, no, places to hide. Things to climb. No. Uh, we're talking about uh, Tyler uh, Gorgas. Gorgas. I'm uh -huh. going to say Gorgas. Um, he, he was out there. He ran this trail 150 times. Do, do, Never do, a problem. Do, Just run, run the trail. It, enjoy all of the, you know, the marsh life. It's beautiful. And, and, the, and, the, and the bison life. What the bison life? And they charged him. And he I knew. I don't bison. They've never done anything. Have you not seen videos from Yellowstone? No. This poor man. Have you not seen so, the gording? Goring, you mean? No. Goring is very different than gording. No. Gording is one of those hollow vegetables that you hollow out and you can use it as a lightened and decorative vegetable. No. Never seen the gifting of the gording? The for... goring is when oh. you're sticking a horn down Ow. in your intestines. Okay, so, so basically that's what happened. They were chasing him, and he finally decided that. that poor kid. He finally decided. He goes, you know what? I'm not going to outrun them because they're fast. Yeah, and they also weigh like two thousand pounds, right? So he turned sideways. Really? He turned sideways. He turned sideways and protected his side like this, because if they came up on you, in the back, oh. they could come up into your lungs and into your heart and stuff like that. So he suffered oh. some broken ribs and stuff, and he dropped to the ground and curled fetal and. Did they go away? No, no, no. They sat there. They kept hitting. Him. What? They kept stomping him. So you're gonna play cards tonight? Wait. There you go. Uh, no. Yeah. That's so horrible. Those so, stupid. So, so they hit him in the head. They hit him in the ribs. That's He's really. He's in the hospital. I mean, he that, lived. That's like above being a dick. There. But that's just horrible. Yes, but he lived, and that's the important wow. thing. So he's got some broken ribs, and he's had uh, intimate contact with bison. Yeah, there's a GoFundMe account for him, by the way, for his hospital. Is there really? Bills, which will be substantial, and you can see the information right here. That poor kid. He should sell the hooves casts he could put on himself from where they stomped him. On the bite side, chicks dig scars, Tyler, and you can always this is use that true. at parties later on. See this hoof mark? That's right. Bison. I'm really sorry, buddy. Sorry, bud. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, I'm sorry for all of us. So, like, water rates are going up again. Uh, I have a question. You may have noticed they've gone up three times okay. over the last three years. Got no, a, you have not been imagining that, but that's nothing. Got a question. We yes. just put something on our Facebook page, which was somebody standing on top of a restroom mm -hmm. that was up in the Uintas, usually where we camp on Mirror Lake Highway, mm -hmm. and the snow was up to the peak of the outhouse uh, deal. So that's a lot of water. Doesn't matter. A foot of a foot of snow is an inch of water. And I've always thought they have the most heartless utility because they're the city utility. Because like any of the other utilities, I've seen like single moms or the elders like, can, hey, can you work, with, work me on with a you? payment program? <laughs> and the city's like, we don't care. We don't Die. care. We don't care. Yeah, I mean, we don't care. I know that those of you who actually work for them, that's not your stance. But right. if you look at the larger stance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's going to go up another 112%. That means that Why? 
if you're medium use, that like you kind of watch it and you guys don't do a lot, it's going to go from, um, oh wow, it's going to go from 291 a year to about 700 by 2024. We had a very tough August last year because we had some burst pipes and, and our bill came in rather steep, shall we say. Uh, and this year we have decided that we are going to have a new a new mantra, which is brown if it's brown, do oh. not frown. Do not hose it down. Do not. F oh, nice. I like that, huh? Oh, both are good. Better. Mine's good. catchier though. Let's I like. Fly. I'm going to go with yours. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So anyway, and they're telling us it's infrastructure. It's what? Infrastructure. But they've they been doing more... that for three years. That's what they're saying again. Apparently they stop won't. drinking so much water. So anyway, there is a public hearing next Tuesday if you feel like you, you want to attend that. Um, it's going to be the City Council building, 7 o'clock. Maybe. Probably isn't going to do anything. So so when you think about Utah, you think about, if you had to say something about Utah, uh, four different things. You'd say pretty. You would say wholesome. You would say volunteering. Right? You would say volunteering. Well, that's the thing. When I actually moved Charitable. out of the state and I went to, uh, like, back east to Virginia to Phoenix and stuff to work, I was so stupid that I was still like, what's your service project? Because that's literally how I was raised. We all right. had stuff we did. I right. mean, that was, like, an expectation. You did stuff. And it wasn't necessarily even the Mormon church. It was the Catholic, Catholic church or there mm -hmm. were youth groups or there was all kinds of different things. But here in Utah, it's kind of like, you're going to do something. And people would look at me out of state and go, what, what are you even talking about? Because like, we do, do stuff. A, you don't do a thing with the... Right. So, yes, as a matter of fact, we are rather fabulous. Utah is number one. Now, over a third of adult Americans volunteer at least once a year, which is amazing because um, it was actually only 20% a year ago. Mm. So things have changed dramatically. Nice, nice. Largest group for uh, volunteers is Generation X, uh, <gasps> 1966 to 1980. And, of course, as you would expect... We are number one. Uh, we're the third biggest city in Salt Lake City, but overall the state, we are number one. 51% of us volunteer every year. There you go. We also have the highest, highest charitable donations per capita than any state in the nation. Now, does, that, does, does that include the church, though? I mean, is that like tithing and stuff? No, that's just everyone no, donating. No, because that doesn't count as charity. Okay. That's tithing All right. to the church. Right. That's Good. a different thing. Interestingly, working parents had a higher rate of volunteering. Isn't that weird? Who did? Working parents. Working mothers um, volunteered at 46.7%, working dads at 36. Part of their kids' schools and stuff. Okay, let's get And their sports. Minnesota, I love you, you were number Minnesota. two. Minnesota. Oregon, Iowa, and Alaska rounded out the top five. Guess who was the bottom this time? Mississippi? No. Oh. Florida. Really? You're so you busy getting to town, you dirty, can't help out the folks down the street? People. All right, so tell me about Will Smith. Oh, he's so freaking adorable. First of all, I have to say, his movie did extremely well, Aladdin, and he was bulked up and, and blue. Uh, I don't think it's been released yet, baby. It hasn't? Because I've seen all these clips. No, I think it comes out this Friday. Oh, get out of town. I've seen more of it than I should say now. Probably so. I'm not going to say another word. Maybe not share anymore, but he, he really is a sweetheart. There were two little girls who were on the line, the press line, and they were four. And they were asking him this how... This is the red carpet. Yeah, how he was doing his magic. It's the red carpet, the film premiere down in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And he was so cute. He said, I can't show you my magic because I'm worried that I would scare a lot of people here. But he was so darling, he actually took the kids underneath the red... Uh, the red carpet rope, and then he took them over, so he introduced them to Princess Jasmine. I mean, that is so 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 cute. the velvet rope is the security. It is the sacred thing. You can't move a red velvet rope on mm -hmm. your own. You have to have Will Smith do it for you. Yes, because otherwise you are turned into paste by a couple of this very true. attentive. I know. Cards. I know what it was now. I looked at Rotten Tomatoes and I looked at the the ratings for the movie mm -hmm. and they're they're huge. Oh, I'm so glad. They're huge. He's gonna be fantastic. This is gonna be and and. But I just love the fact though that he was so awesome with the little kids because you're in the middle of the red carpet. You're like I'm being sparkly. I'm fabulous. And to have two toddlers shrieking at you may or may not be your thing, but he made it awesome. How can you not love this man? I just think it's the just the way he does it. It's cool. It's like oh, where, where's the princess? Hang on, come with me, kids. He's come so with cute. Me. Don't you remember he did that great press thing? It was uh, for Bright. It was the big uh, movie he did for uh, for TV for... Um, Netflix? Netflix. 
And he, he did this whole contest. He goes, I'm really tired. I don't want to go on a national press tour. So I'm going to pick two people and you're going to be Will Smith. And he actually sent two complete strangers on the press tour. It was great. just kind of like filled them in on the information. And they're like, I'm Will Smith. One of them was like this 46-year-old grandma. It was, <laughs> it was great. It awesome. was It was great. He's a lot of fun. I um I am taking my example from this person, a okay. pr- prominent uh, televangelist. Okay. Uh, you might have remembered in 2015 when he went on and asked for donations for his a private jet because the three others that he had weren't enough. He wanted a fourth private jet. And he said, you can't expect me to get on a plane, a small tube with dope in a dope filled world. Do you? I'm preparing to talk to God. I cannot go with these people. He did not say that. These heathens and demons. He did not say that. Of course he said that. And that's why he wants a new jet. So why shouldn't he get one? Now, I have my story, which is different. And it's called Todd Wants a Scooter. Okay, so you can't expect me to drive in a car when I have to take my kids with me. Or my wife. What I want to do is travel alone so I can have my thoughts to myself. You're talking to God and whatever. No, he no, doesn't talk to me that. anymore. I know. No, I can just have my thoughts and have my little cartoon voices going off like this. But the dope fiends and the demons wouldn't be doing anything. Oh, no. I've left them behind because I am cruising on the scooter. So if you have a scooter and you'd like to make a donation of a scooter to me, um, I would take it from you. You are just about as adorable as you I just want a scooter, not a jet plane. I think that's God wants me to have a fourth (laughs) private jet. I'm asking for one scooter. Okay, so let's just figure that one out. Anyway, There's you so guys... There's so many things I want to express right now, but I'm going to keep my mouth shut and tell you instead that as we... Is it a size issue? Father's Day, as we're edging up to Father's Day, Nothing Bunk Cakes is going to give you a glorious present for Daddy that he can go high and eat all by himself. I'll let you get to it first. Anyway, the way that you would enter for that is... Is? Because you've suffered through the entire show. All you have to do is say a code word. Scooter. And automatically enter scooter. scooter. Todd gets a scooter. Just write scooter in the comments underneath the show Todd today. And you are qualified uh, to win one of the glorious Nothing But Cakes. If I get a scooter, I will do a dramatic um, uh, act of death. Jumping something with a scooter. You know, our life insurance hasn't really been as substantial as I'd like it to be. How much worse can this get? <laughs> Listen to me. That's what I'm saying. All right, you guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to use my really low voice now tomorrow on the Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. Wow, you could be a movie announcer. My throat hurts like crap right now. Let's go get you some soda. Okay, let's go. (laughs) Poor guy. Oh.